people are so insane. Is, is Silent Hill not received as severely in Japan as you'd say it is here? Because there's um, a lot of... Over here, I, there's like a lot of taboos, you know? I would say I don't really have much knowledge about how it was received in Japan. I yeah. think that... I think that it, it was less popular in general. I, I, I think that might have creeped them out too much. <laughs> you know? I don't know. Silent Hill... I think I, I see Silent Hill, um, and, and maybe it's because of my influence on it, but I see it as pretty Western. Um, yeah, you can't even tell it's originally written in Japanese. I mean, they don't have uh, it's all voice acted in English to go, right? Except for the um, uh, a dog ending of Silent Hill 2, which is all in Japanese, right? Yeah, well, that was just a joke. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wait, there was it the original voice actor. Did he do the Japanese voice acting for that part too? We talking about two? Yeah. Oh, yeah, as I recall, we just said to him, you know, he'd be in the booth, and we just said to him, okay, say, you know, and he spoke some Japanese, so. Yeah. <laughs> but a, it wasn't, I mean, there was very little Japanese. It was only, like, I don't know what he said. Two lines, like, yeah. Yeah, then, yeah, he, I think he, I, th I think he said something like, so you were the ones behind this, or something like that. Omae no wazada, he said. Yeah, I haven't seen, I have not even reached that ending in the game myself. I've seen it on YouTube. Yeah. But, uh, Ryan, we can hear you drinking your water. That's not me. That was me, buddy. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, it wasn't man. water. Yeah, we'll, we'll go ahead and edit that out. No, no problem. I'm, I'm muting my microphone because I'm, I'm fighting off an allergy infection right now, so I'm sorry. So, okay, so you want to, um, like, get into the questions? Uh, yeah. Uh, well, yeah. I mean, you kind of already explained how you got into translating in the Junker HQ interview. You said that you were translating, like, documents, medical documents, and stuff like that before, correct? Well, you know, I, I, I had been at Konami for, uh, about a year and a half or two years, somewhere between there. Um, and uh, I was working in uh, the Tokyo headquarters uh, in the business department. Yeah. And I, and I wanted to get into the uh, R&D, you know. Mm -hmm. um, There's a company of about 1,100 people then, and I was the only foreigner. And, you know, man, I wanted to do cool, fun stuff, you know. I wanted to do R&D. Um, and I made the, re the formal requests, and I, they, got turned, they turned me down. Yeah, in the meantime, I had R&D teams, you know, wanted to make use of me. So increasingly, they started sending me stuff to translate or, you know, what do you think about this or, um, and then I think, uh, you know, and so I worked on shit like, you know, Animaniacs and I wrote like scripts for Animaniacs and like Biker Mice from Mars. And, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Animaniacs, that was, that was a classic oh, yeah. game, I like that game. Um, class. Yeah, I think I think I actually put, managed to put some funny gags into Animaniacs, you know, re relatively funny mm -hmm. for the for the time period, you know, because this was cartridges. I mean, you know, the whole the whole thing about translation and 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 game quality of voices and all this stuff, man, none of this was an issue when you're playing like, uh, you know, fucking Tiny Toons Adventures, you know. Mm -hmm. So. Um, I got called in for Snatcher by this guy uh, Haruki, who uh, was in uh, was in um, I believe he was working for um, for Microsoft for a while. Haruki after he left Konami. Haruki and then uh, yeah Haruki and then and then uh, and the the butcher at that time was this guy uh, who was, was a big shot for uh, for Sony Sony named Kirita Kirita um, and they, they they were they were the ones. Uh, in charge of the Sega division at Konami. Yeah. And, uh, you know, fucking uh, the, uh, excuse me, the uh, PlayStation, uh, you know, CD came out. I mean, the Sega CD, what am I saying? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. No problem. You know? So we wanted to service all, you know, all 500 of the people who bought it. It was a big game. <laughs> I think it was more like 10 people, but I see what you're <laughs> saying. Yeah. I mean, I was in charge of shipping. I know how many, how many Snatchers we shipped. Let me tell you. Uh, I heard the numbers like, was like 2,000. Like what, five? <laughs> no, it wasn't anywhere near 10,000. No. 2,000, right? I don't think it was anywhere near 2,000. May, may, maybe we might have forced the U.S. to buy 2,000 off of us, which is what You're what Japan, serious? That game's that's what Japan bad. did. You know, they forced, you know. Man. Kind of forced the U.S. division to pick up uh, the games, but... Um, I don't think the the sell through. I don't think was any more than like three hundred and sixty seven. About <laughs> it's horrible. It was, I, Whoa. Sorry. Yeah, it was horrible. Oh, man. Yeah. Man, 
did they think that this had some sort of negative, like Americans weren't into this kind of stuff, or? I mean, did they have that feeling? I think that, I think that, uh, I don't know, man, I just buried my hand, head in the sand after, after, after those sales numbers came through. You know, what am I going to say? Yeah. You know, I, th I, I mean, I, I think they knew that the, there weren't many, um, you know, Sega CDs hadn't yeah. been sold, so. I mean, that's just a logical answer. Uh, well, uh, speaking of uh, Snatcher, you know the another question we have is uh, you, you done work on a lot of games with cinematic feel to them, Silent mm -hmm. Hill, Metal Gear Solid, Snatcher. Uh, what kind of movies are you into? Oh, I would say that um, I would say that uh, I'm definitely into you know the kind of movies that are used as primary sources for um, the Silent Hill games. I mean. You know, I could quote, you know, all the Lynch movies pretty well, and, uh, um, you know, certainly uh, many people recognize that Jacob's Ladder was a very uh, influential thing for some of that. Um, I mean, you know, that's another thing. I mean, we were talking about originality, you know, mm -hmm. and uh, while I think there's great originality in aspects of um, Silent Hill 2, um, the plot-wise, um, you know, cinematically, they steal everything from you know everything they can they can find. I mean, to just yeah. rip it right off. And you know, I don't mean to speak ill of the dead, but fucking hey, I mean, take some responsibility. It's horrible because you you want to see the, the influences. You can go directly to the movies. They're taken directly up. Barton Fink, you know, uh -huh. the fire scene with Angela. I believe it's Barton Fink. Um, uh, what else? You know, you can just go down the list uh, almost. Um, I think the cell. A horrible movie with uh, Jennifer Lopez was used as a primary source for uh, maybe Silent Hill three or four. You're four? serious? That movie was so um, horrible. Yeah. Oh, it's, you know, and it's like this, but because you you have to understand, a, a Japanese person that sees a a visually breathtaking movie like The Cell, okay, mm -hmm. translated into Japanese, they're not going to be able to appreciate necessarily that it's a piece of shit. <laughs> You know? Yeah. You know? It's a good looking video, that movie. And if you're the the, the guys in Silent Hill, um, in particular who I think probably made the decision to, to do to, to, to go with the cell, um, they're all most of those guys are painters, you know. They're all very visual. Yeah, a lot of and it is a lot of Silent, Silent Hill's Hill is based on, you know, the, the, the music, the art and everything. And yeah, then, right, right, right. Even though Silent Hill 3 had like some silly character designs, I don't know why they had the lumbering giant with bandages for his arms or whatever. It kind of gives it a little silly, you know. I think that's. I don't know. Got no answer for, <laughs> for that one. <laughs> I'll I tell know. you though, uh, the guy who did the, the character designs is a real. He's a very quiet guy, but. <laughs> <laughs> a strange guy, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and moving on here. Uh, Let's go ahead and talk about Snatcher. Well, there's there's a lot of uh, questions asked about Snatcher, but we only got a few. And uh, I think the first question you answered this some bit in the Junker HQ interview was how familiar were you with the game before you went to translation? Did you play any of the other versions and whatnot? And you said they showed you a version. They showed you the PC romantic version, right? Yeah. A CD yeah. romantic. Yeah. And uh, what was yeah, your well, I don't know how many how many other versions are there that uh, uh, a lot. As far as I know, there's. Uh, there, there, there's one that was made for that weird little Japanese computer. Uh, yes, they had the, the MSX, the PC, the MSX, something. Yeah. And I think, if I understand correctly, the MXX version simply was missing the final scene. Uh, I think they like ran out yeah, of capacity. Yeah, they didn't include the third act. Yeah, I think, I think, yeah, I think they didn't have enough room on it, on, you know, capacity. Um, so, other than that, I'm not sure how many differences there are. But anyway, I only played that one version. Yeah, um, they sat me down right there in uh, in uh, R and D six. I remember sitting down where I sat down at that little table, and it was my first uh, experience playing a CD ROM game. You know, mm -hmm. uh, I was blown away, man. I I thought that was the greatest fucking thing that game. I really, I was so uh, yeah, I was really moved by it. I mean, I thought that the characters were great, and they sold the whole story. Um, 